Over the last seven weeks, I've taken 10 teams across 6,000 kilometers of some of the most beautiful and harsh terrain that Southern Africa has to offer in the world's toughest outdoor kitchen. <coughs> this is un real. Oh, it's burnt. Very stressed. Be careful. Oh, so stressful. This is a mess. Oh, no. The heat is on. Down to the last minute again. Colin, hurry up. Oh. Ow. We started this journey with 10 teams and seven teams have been eliminated, leaving three teams to compete in the final challenge. And now we are in the final. I love it. The top prize is up for grabs. It's really awesome that we've made it this far. We're feeling very really excited. Our aim for the finals is to be calm, cool and collected. We yeah. stand a 33.33 recurring the same chance of winning. <laughs> Mutton heads. Salty Flames and Pretty Gritty at the Mboiki River Lodge getting ready to battle it out for over a million rands worth of prizes including a Suzuki Grand Vitara, 400,000 rand in cash, 200,000 rands worth of vouchers from game and a title. This is insanity. Oh sh ah! I've never done this before. <sighs> okay, go. <laughs> wow, she's just throwing up, eh? They are going to have to endure a final challenge that is going to push them to their emotional, physical, and culinary limits. And that time starts now. What? Not set and tears, that's what it's going to take. And the final challenge of the game is on. Game on. Game, game on. on. Justin's given us the day off and we are going on a little hike. Uh, Justin said we'll go and have Exploring. a look at even a bigger waterfall than the rest. Ah, oh. ah, oh. look at that. We made it. That's why they call it the Wild Coast. The rocks, the formations, it's unreal. I heard yesterday that this is one of only 22 waterfalls in the world would flow directly into the sea. So I've seen one and now I have to find the other 21. The guide said it's called uh, Nang Nang because it goes Nang 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 Nang. <laughs> yeah. I wish the whole world could see this. It's absolutely brilliant to be out here. It's so pretty. This is what we are about. Hiking. Ocean. Down. Beautiful landscapes. I'm actually speechless. I don't know why I took so much, but it's the nerve. It is so beautiful here on the wild coast. It's amazing. I love it. Sort of getting my head here and you know preparing mentally for the challenge ahead. Although it's all relaxing and cool. It's just like butterfly feeling in my stomach. Pretty um for the final now. You're looking forward to the final? Now well, let's go in there. Don't fight so much <laughs> and finish it out. <laughs> like, let's do this. Get it on.
morning, the final three teams. Muttonheads, Salty Flames, Pretty Gritty. Collectively, you've eliminated seven other teams, survived a six-week journey across the length and breadth of South Africa, but today it all boils down to what you do right here, how you cope with the pressure of a series of challenges that will prove that you deserve the title, the car and the cash. Right. Nick, Peter, you went head to head in spitting a lamb. Well, today you have to prepare an Argentinian style lamb. And that's not spitted, ladies and gents. It's up and cooks from reflected heat over a number of hours. You'll have seven hours, but that is your first challenge. Get the lambs on the go, and there afterwards, you can just expect the unexpected from myself and the judges. You guys have dreamt of this moment many times. This is it. This is your chance to prove that you're better than the rest. And you've worked so hard to get here, make it count today, and may the best team win. We are going to make it difficult for you. It's the final. Today is going to be about remaining steadfast, planning, and not losing your head. Enjoy yourselves, because it's going to be a day that you will remember for a long time. Behind me is a beautifully stocked game pantry with everything that you'll need for the challenge. From green peppers, aubergines, mushrooms, courgettes, you get the idea. Loads of fresh ingredients, everything that you will need for the challenge today. And just remember, it's the first of a number of challenges today. So get cracking, don't waste any time. Prove that you deserve the title, the car, the cash. Are you all ready? Ready. 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 Let's do it. Your challenge starts right now. Got it? Yeah. That's a bad, bad boy. Whoa, it's heavy. I think it's actually nice if we get a second chance with a split. Peter shouldn't really be too afraid. Perhaps he would have won if he just basted the meat a little bit. So perhaps today he will baste. This is so nasty! The wind is not effing around today. I've never done this before, but I have beginner's luck on my side. You ready? Salty Flames ready have their lamb on the go, eh? Hey? One, two, three, go. Brian Masters, please come to me. Right, ladies and gentlemen, you've had 45 minutes to get your lamb on the go. Judges are hungry. Please prepare for them a little breakfast and you have 30 minutes, go. What breakfast in 30 minutes? Shut, 30 shut, minutes. Go. Hold it up. I am. Hold it up. I am. Stop that. Okay, go. I'm going to make a little... Have you got butter here, my dear? Breakfast chart. I'm planning to make like a egg in a window kind of vibe. Push egg on a grilled mushroom. It's wind of... Okay, right, crack on. Okay. Excellent. Okay, 10 minutes. Baby? Yeah, no, in, 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 in. Great. We've already used 11 minutes of the time allotted for breakfast. Better manage your fire, better manage your spit, better get cracking, or quite simply give up and go home. Okay, make a space and some of this pops out. No, I'm just for later. Babe, do you want to stop basting that? I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Only I'll get you back here in five minutes. <coughs> wow, she's just throwing up, eh? Wah, wah. I'm not feeling so good this morning. She's nauseous. But she's a trooper. You have some more water now, please, my dear. Luckily, I made one extra because it was rolling off and then it broke. Okay, let's plate. I've got this, don't worry about this. Quickly, we have a minute. Clean up, clean up. Yeah. Time, done, thank you. How's it, how's it? Hi. So what have we got? We've got a one pan wonder. The egg thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Desiree. Very really lucky like breakfast. Yeah. 20 minutes. Yeah. Up there, huh? That's good. Yeah. Hey, Thank salty you. flames. Love that potato crust on the bottom. Yeah. Huh? Nice and crispy. Thank you, salty flames. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Thanks, Jackie. What are you doing? I don't want the sand to fly. Babe, yeah. I'm gonna sit down for a minute, okay? Okay, you go ahead. Right, gentlemen. You've just smashed out a breakfast for the judges. No, quite simply, in the pantry you will find three little platters of chicken rings. Prepare them however you would like. You have 45 minutes and that time starts now. Another quick fire for us. 
This is insanity. Give the pot a stir quickly. Uh, check that chicken wings, please. Chicken wings, chicken wings, chicken wings. Your heat is way too hot and way too close. Okay, mm. bring it up higher. Exactly. So if you can see that's the problem, why not do it? I know you're not feeling nice. No, I'm not feeling nice. Just go and sit in the shade. Come here. Hey, sugar looks. Go and sit in the shade. Please come with me. You don't do any good to me now. Okay. No, no, no. I have to finish my work. No, no. I, I can I do this. I can do this. My sugar looks. Okay, I know you're feeling shit. Just come and sit in the shade for five minutes. Come on. You know, see, I'm not complaining, hell. I'm not gonna be like, come on, Chanel, pull your weight. No ways, I wouldn't have gotten this far if it wasn't for her. One, two, three, go. Three and a half minutes until you have to serve your chicken wings. If these chicken wings cost me the ultimate bride master title, it was never meant to be. Where's my lemon going to its blow? Don't get the chicken plated. It's not cooked yet. Yes, it is. Whether it's good or bad, it's up to Nick. All right, team, that's your 45 minutes done and dusted for the chicken wings. Please serve the judges and get ready for your next challenge. Hey, Chanel. So we've got sweet barbecue chicken wing. The wing is fully cooked. It's got that char. And it's perfect with the dip. Hey, hey Peter. Peter. Sweet and sour chicken wings. The sauce is so strong that you'd struggle to eat lots of these. So hey, sure. We've got some Prego chicken wings. The chicken is cooked, but I think maybe a dipping sauce, you know? Yeah. That wouldn't have been a bad idea. That wind, it's not easy to cook a lamb because obviously the fire, it blows straight over the lamb. We're just making a shield. As long as this, this contraption doesn't take off, we have to do it if we want to win. So the wind stops chewing up my fire. It's not going to last a great deal of time, babe, but seeing as we don't have anything to prepare. Rye masters, gather around. Right, you've been at it for 2 hours and 45 minutes in the teeth of the howling gale. You've already had three challenges. And here's the next one. Please prepare us a bean and oxtail poiki. And your five hours for that challenge starts right now. Oxtail, yes. Stuck. We aced the poiki challenge earlier on in the game. We're gonna ace it again. I need you to chop onions. Oxtail takes a long time to cook. How are you going, Chanel? Considering we got the elements against us and we're a man down. I think we're doing all right, eh, babe? Yeah. With these conditions, it's challenging. Challenging? It's <laughs> like putting it lightly. It's not the ultimate bra master for nothing. Well, Tisha, the bad news for you is that it's going to get a bit more challenging. Desiree, yeah. the judges are waiting for you. Nick, please make your way to the judges. There you will find a Kamado Yang. Limited ingredients, including a sirloin, a ribeye, and a crayfish. It's in 20 minutes, using only one device, you're going to have to prove that you understand cooking temperatures on one device. What you're going to be doing is proving that you're just as good as your brine master. Right buddies, make your way up to the judges. Good luck Peter, I hope you can do without your bride buddy because she has a challenge of her own right now. Israel, the only companies who've got salt, pepper, lemon and butter. Really? Yeah. Kamado yeah. Yan is fired up, your time starts now. I'm sorry, how would you like your steak? Medium rare. Okay. So how do you think Pete's getting on down there without you? He gets rattled quickly, but yeah. he won't admit it. F***ing hell. You need somebody to shout at all the time. So. Yeah. But I'm used to it. How do I change this thing on my own now? If you're ready to serve, you can serve. Ah, where's my bribe buddy? You can go join Pete, make sure he hasn't burned the place down. <laughs> Thank you. Crayfish spot on. Huh? Mm. A thick piece of meat and a small piece of crayfish and getting the timing right on both. Yeah. And she did a fabulous job. Tyler. Hey, Tyler. Good afternoon, okay. guys. So your 20 minutes starts now. I'm trying to cool it down. Well, what sort of temperature do you want it at? I want it at about 250. What do you want on the surface of this thing? I want it to be crispy. Is the wind still pumping down there? The wind is insane. This is absolutely insane. I'm just trying to shield some more sand from blowing up onto us. As if there wasn't enough fish already. <laughs> and now we separated. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Excellent. Go back. Head back yes. to your fire, bro. Off you go. Right, thanks. 
Okay, I'm not, soft it is, yeah. no colour on. Yeah, my worry was the constant turning. It's raw in the middle there. Yeah? Exactly. Let's try the crayfish. You didn't put any salt and pepper on. Yeah. Hey, hey, Nick. Right, Nick. Gentlemen. So, we've got a nice challenge for you. And your 20 minutes starts now. How's the lamp going down there? We're coping, I just hope we win. Nick's been superb. I have the best partner ever. Six weeks of fighting, tooth and nail. Yeah. I'm not gonna sit down and take it to like today, no cool. chance. Yeah. How's that lemon smoke coming off the fire? Oh, can you smell it? Uh, <laughs> you have six. six minutes left. I'd like this to rest. I hope you enjoy. Love you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Get back to your lamp. Good looking steaks, huh? Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's been able to do a lot of good steaks for us at the past challenges. Definitely I think yeah. he did a good job. I think he did a fantastic job. Okay. Wow. No, that's not going to work. Oh, oh s***! How? Yeah, f I was shocked. All teams, please come gather around. I hope you're enjoying this wild, wild coast weather, but I can tell you that the producers aren't. Currently, the wind is blowing at about 35 kilometers an hour, and in the next two hours, it's expected to more than double. I've been forced to do something that I never thought I would in this game. What? The final is off. What? We'll reconvene in two weeks' time in what I hope will be a sunny Cape Town, and on that day, one team standing here will prove that they deserve the title, the car, and the cash. But they are South Africa's next ultimate dry master. What? See you in Cape Town. There's a tropical storm coming in. It's hit and it's hit hard. So we had to vacate the beach and cut our long story short, basically. So we are going to regroup in two weeks' time uh, in Cape Town. And then we'll have the finals another day. I'm looking forward to it now more than ever. Oh, our head's high till then. This is hard. From the east coast to the west coast, pretty gritty, salty flames and mutton heads, I'd like to officially welcome you to the Strandloper in Langebaan on the west coast of South Africa for the second half of your finale. And Nick, glad to see that you're dressed for the occasion. You see, Nick is dressed to win and the others are dressed to cook. <laughs> <laughs> we all know why we're here. We were destroyed by weather on the east coast of South Africa. But you've all had a taste of what the final is like. There were three challenges that were competed on the East Coast. Want to know who took them? One pan breakfast. Pretty gritty. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Sticky wings. Salty yeah. plane. And then the surf and turf took it as well, which means at this stage, Tersh and Talon, bottom of the pile, but you know it's nice to be the underdog. And on that note, we're going to start you off with what you had on the fire in the final. You will have six hours to prepare a lamb asada style. And obviously, your oxtail again served with dumplings. You'll only have four hours for that challenge. Behind me is a beautifully stocked game pantry with everything that you will need. The root vegetables, beautiful fresh fruits, dried fruits and nuts, cheeses, beautiful mussels from Blue Ocean. You get the idea. Everything that you would need for this challenge to show us that you deserve to take the title, the car and the cash. Are you ready? Ready. The challenge starts now. What beautiful peppers. I'm looking for all the goodness that went into my last oxtail so we can make it great again. Back into the final. Let's do this. Oh, cool. It's not cool. like it's forever now. Obviously, we're in the final. We've always going to be special, but I'm trying not to work myself up. I'm actually feeling quite good because now I know what to expect when putting this lamb on. Yep, practice makes perfect. So how are we doing guys? Did you miss us? Yeah, we spent two weeks thinking up of fiendish things for you to do today. Yeah. 
I honestly didn't think that we'd be starting from where we left off. A little bit smaller animal than the one yeah. we did the first time. Much more manageable. The steaks and their crayfish were quite something. You made me very proud. Yeah, so two out of three from the previous finals. Today is another day. It feels good to be now in the second half of the final. Two weeks of downtime, so you have to get your mind into it again. I just start drying my oxo off. I need a nice brown colour. There's just a dry rub for the lamb now quickly. I need to punch the garlic in. I'm going as fast as I can. Yeah. Expecting to win everything today. I need that thing needs to go on now. Huh? Are you ready to put this on? Spice it up, spice it up. Left, 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 left. I almost feel like it's round two of the finale. Oh, yeah. The break might have helped them. It might have taken them out of their group. They've had the advantage of knowing those quick fires. Of course, we've got something completely different lined up for this day. <laughs> yes. 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 I cannot wait to get started. It's the right three teams on the final, and in the next couple of hours, one team will be crowned the fifth season's ultimate bra master. Dude, we need to start with the pokey now. Don't worry, our pokey will be fine. Obviously, we haven't got any points on the board yet. I can take the blame for that. I did mess up, but just have to keep our heads up and keep pushing through. There's another challenge coming. Nick! Through. Right, Prime Masters, you're 30 minutes through the finale. And if you think it's too easy, you are 100% right. Considering that we are on the West Coast, please make your way through to the game pantry where you will find a little platter of harders. You've got 30 minutes to prepare them. Today is not a holiday. What's a harder? Run, 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 Tersha Tarlin. Is the harder the fish? Nicholas, we got fish on the go, man, love. How do we make a harder? Are they cleaned? No. What are you gonna do? Curry powder. Masala. Yeah, That's masala. That's a great idea. Masala. Come, let's, go, let's go, let's get this on. Coming back and cooking and Justin's shouting at you and the fire's blazing. I miss that, I miss it so much. Tarlin! And you have to prep them! Growing up along the coast all my life, I definitely know what the harder is. I would start with the other way around. Yeah. When the fat starts dripping on yes, the flames, then that's when you get that smoke out. Yeah. yeah. Nix, it's completely wrong. If I put it that close at the beginning, I will burn it by the end. Oh, we'll see what happens, huh? Exciting times. I need you to chop carrots. Yeah. Keep the fire going. How's our beans going? Please pass me the ginger. I'm just following orders. Chanel tells me to, to concentrate and then gives me a hundred tasks. Come, baby, come. What do you Please, have to do on? Focus. I need, I need you to chop. Uh, Is that the sweet sound I hear of an oxtail burning in the pot? No. You want to instill panic in us, but it's not going to happen. Nope, not today. Yeah, it's not burning. This goes harder. Oh, my mom would be so proud of me. We are busy making fish I've never heard of in my entire life. These just look like sardines, bro. I don't know what harder. Harder. You better get those fish on the grill, huh? Get them on, get them on, get them on. Let's hope those fish cook in time, huh? Nick did his little prance around for a couple minutes, but you know, he's got direction now. Have a look, please. Oh, babe, they're perfectly cooked. Five minutes until you have to give the judges their harders. And don't forget about those oxtail and those lambs. They form a critical part of who wins today's challenge. How they're cooking, huh? Great, based. Just go easy on it though, not too hot. I remember how deadly these chilies were the last time, so I won't put too much. Fire tan, I love it. 30 seconds. Okay, it's all in, bring it. Some nice onion rings would be nice to him. Can I need it enough? Oh. What? You should have gutted it, but it's fine. You didn't gut it. Let's go. No, I didn't gut it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Seven, come on. Six. Go. Five, Ready to serve. Four, three, two, and one. Dry masters, please take your offering up to the judges and carry on with your lamb and your oxtail. Hey, Tisha, what have you done? We looked at the fish, kind of looked like sardines. Durban masala sardines are great, so we thought we'd take the same approach. Enjoy. Thank you. And these went on last. We didn't think they'd cook in time, but they're looking lacquer. Huh? I don't even need a knife for this. Gutted also. Yeah. She's got the skin nice and crispy. But yeah. Yeah. Perfectly cooked. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What have we got? We grilled them nicely. Apple vinegar, please enjoy. But also beautifully cooked, huh? Yeah. Funny taste that comes through. I'm not sure where it's that comes onion. from. The vinegar is nice, but when you put it on the fish, you lose the fish completely. Hi, judges. Hey, Chanel. Turmeric, ginger, garlic, and a bit of mustard seeds. My big thing is these haven't been, been gutted. They haven't been gutted, huh? Yeah. You can't eat the skin because it's got scales on it. I thought it was going well. It looked good. It smelled good. I need to find out that Chanel didn't realize that the guts needed to come out of the fish. And I don't think anybody wants to eat fish with guts inside of it, so 
that's definitely one down. I think I need to calm down a bit. Yeah, calm down a bit. All right, Fry Masters, you've delivered your first quick fire. Here is the second one. In the game pantry, you will find the safari salads. You will replicate two of them and produce one salad of your choosing. Three salads, one hour. You know what you're fighting for. Pressure's on now, quick fires can do that to a person. Beetroot salad, one of them has to be a little bit curried. Oh. Hurry up! Relax, relax. T-bone, that's time out, time out, time out. I'm gonna make a cucumber salad and then beans. Are there any other beans? Any other beans? Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. We have to replicate the salad. Then I boil it with the vinegar and the sugar and the onions somehow one time and hopefully it has the same. The other one is a three bean salad. Make some tomato sauce there. Then you have to make a salad of your choice. What do I do there? Colin, I need water on the go now, like yesterday. There's Wait. another pokey party in the front. Stop. I just need to deglaze the bottom here quickly because it's just starting to stick. We can't have that happening. I need another one of these pots. This is hectic. T-bone, T-bone, put the knife down. I can't stop now. Tasia, Tasia, look at me. I put can, the knife I can down. look at you. Put the, put the knife down. Calm down. Calm down, you're getting... Calm okay, down. but just, just right. carry on. You can talk to me while I'm busy. Just calm down. Okay. We're I'm having fun here. We're not shouting and getting angry and worked up. Right. I need another pot of water. Don't forget about the pokey. I'm not. So we're going to use three beans, right? We're going to use this, which is already soft. We're going to use those. And I want you to scoop those out for me, please. I'm not scooping those out. No, I'm not scooping those out. I thought she was going to whack me. The beans stayed in the pokey. Because I said no. Extremely hot. We've got the spot in the bright sun the whole day. It's extremely hot today. We all drew straws and we got the shady area. Pretty gritty on the other hand. Urgh, suffering. Thank you, Desiree, for choosing number three today. It's my pleasure. But actually, <laughs> we'll show the people that we are the toughest team around. <laughs> okay, pot's going, beans are going. I'm gonna do the third salad now. All of this with an Asian dressing. We're actually working nicely together today. It's too hot to argue. <laughs> yeah. What's burning? Colin, I took the pokey off the heat there because it's starting to stick. If it sticks anymore, it's going to burn at the bottom and I don't want that. It's a bit tangy. That's how I want it. I've got corn cookie, the oxtail pokey, some sugar beans there, bundle for the salad, lamb on the split, beautiful view, ultimate prime master, I love you. 10 minutes to go until you have to serve your salads. That's but you're all looking like you could do with a little bit more work. So while that's all going on, please make a dish with rice as the hero and you have one hour. What's the pantry? Come, water on for the rice, please. What is on for the rice? What's the what's the Kate Malay dish? Um acne. Bang on! So far so good with the beast over here. There's a lot going on, so it's easy to forget. Okay, I need to get on the dumplings too. Oh, and the rice. Down. What do you think we should cook with it? Rice cakes, eh, babe? Yugoslavian take on a risotto type of thing. It's a spicy rice dish, basically, in one pot. Uh, Asian salad is done. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, oh. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Why, masters? Please serve your salads to the judges right now. Well, aubergine salad is too acidic. Yeah. I enjoyed these two, but then I could eat all day long. Yeah. This for me, I don't like. All that Desiree's thinking is yeah. color. This beetroot salad reminds me of what we used to have on a Sunday at home. This is more like a bean side dish. It's a bit boring. This is what brings it all together. This lovely light salad. Very did good. a great job. Yeah. Just check if that's enough rice. It's going to be a very small pot. This is quite a challenge. The lentils are really going to need some time, eh? Okay, I'm going to make a rice cake, one fish, one with honey. It's going to showcase the different flavors that rice can accompany. I'm busy looking for a dumpling thing. If I can't find it, I'm going to have to make it up. over three hours through the challenges. My question is, how are they actually doing? They've learned to manage their fires. Everybody serves everything on time. We've tasted some fantastic food from all the teams. But let's remember, this is the final of the ultimate Rhyme Master. I think we need to stoke the fire a little bit. It is a little bit nerve-wracking to know that if we win today, our whole lives could change. 10 minutes left to prepare your 
rice dish, but you are looking like you're on holiday, like you're not fighting for over a million rands worth of prizes. So, we would like you to please prepare a muscle dish in 25 minutes. 25 minutes to do a muscle pot. Okay, muscles, please go get a muscle. You've got to boil them, clean them. I'll get the pot. The challenge is any muscle dish. Muscle plan is steam them, take them out of their shells because we don't have enough time to clean them. I'm just going to pop these onto the grill. It should pop open. Take out the muscle and prepare a nice little bruschetta with a nice pesto. Can okay. we make a muscle pot? Good. Leeks, onions, cut are you, But Are you on track with the rice pot? The rice pot is ready. My lamb is coming on very nicely here. You might need a bigger fire. I definitely don't need a bigger fire. When you cook for six hours, it's all about managing the fire. Fire, hey, Zach. Paulin, to get this off here. Just leave it off, okay? 30 seconds to go before you have to serve your rice dish. It's Nick, rice. Smiling. Nick? Yes, sir. Smiling. Inside. Five, four, three, two, and one. Dry masters, please serve the judges your dish. It's got all of those flavors, the chorizo, the lamb, the paprika, but it just needs a little bit of seasoning. Just to take it to that next level. It's an adventurous dish because this could have gone horribly wrong. I, I quite like this. The spices, the, it's a complete dish. Yeah. 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 You've got two offerings here. One sweet and one savory. With the fish, it's disgusting. Yeah. With the savory, spot on. It's confused. The dumplings need to go on. Everything is on track, sort of. Just cook now. <laughs> with 30 seconds to go until you have to serve your muscle dish, with all the savory that you've been giving to the judges, I would now like a dessert in an hour and a half that must have dried fruits and nuts in it. And please, go and serve your muscle dishes <laughs> to the judges. <laughs> It's a tomato dish. Yeah. I totally lose the muscle. Yeah. Didn't work. Didn't work. No. Small muscles, it looks pretty. So again, mm. something inventive. The muscles are getting lost in the salsa and the pesto. Yeah. Acidity, sweetness. Gorgeous. I love it. Absolutely love it. That's my favorite so far. And you need to give me a time for dessert. My hand's cramping up a bit, eh? You don't really don't need it to be having cramps right now. I can't help it. For the dessert, I am making strawberry cobbler. We're serving our brownies with some ice cream. We'll make our famous bush ice cream again. I'll try and get it right. Dessert is a baked cheesecake. Five minutes on oxtail, baby. You're busy with one thing, and then another one comes, and then you have to split your brain between three things. <sighs> Looks like it's a bit too hot here for my lamp. Then these little things in between. Let this lid, put some coals on top. The one is not even finished, and then the other one gets thrown at us. Sun is baking my eyes out. Toughest outdoor competition. No room for quitters here either. It's feeling it. Please serve your oxtails to the judges. We're looking forward to this pot for two weeks. Exactly. This was the one to watch because it takes yeah. time to do it. Yeah. It's all about managing your fire. Yeah. It's burnt. I think they've thickened the sauce too much and it's too salty. Martinez have failed in this. Perfectly cooked oxtail. Yeah. I'm not too happy with the dumpling. But the rest of it is it's glorious. Yeah, the dumpling's quite light, huh? Lovely seasoning. Yeah, another dimension. Yeah. It's spicier. Yeah. It's, it's also got a bit of sweetness. Yeah. yeah. We have thrown everything with the kitchen sink at these guys, yeah. and we have had fantastic food today. I'm hugely impressed. With That's what it takes. If you want to become the ultimate dry master, you have to withstand everything we throw at you. Let's see if there's anybody that's going to buckle. Dry masters, 35 minutes left until you have to serve your dessert, but it looks like you're having a really easy day of it. So to that end, I'd like you to produce in one hour, please, a composed plate of food. Protein, starch, vegetable. Suggest you start running. Yeah, that's okay. <sighs> Completely drained. Like seriously, this is hectic. We will make a pan-fried salmon with asparagus, sauce hollandaise, and sorted baby potatoes. You're gonna do the steak? Good old fashioned steak, egg, and chips. You sure? No one's done steak, egg, and chips. It's amazing. I love steak, egg, and chips. Colin, we don't have the ice cream yet. Watch it. Loose at the bottom. So we're about to make some ice cream in a bag again. Come on, do it. We don't have time for the composed plate, dude. The egg, too early for the egg, bro. Shut up. Don't tell me to shut up, please. You told me to shut up. Simone, let's do a two step. One, two, three. 
<laughs> We're now down to the last 30 seconds. So all you have to focus on once you've served the dessert is your composed plates of food and your lamb. Chocolate brownie pot with yeah. chocolate ice cream. It's more of a mousse consistency. No, that was never ice cream. That's good. Huh? Yeah. Baked cheesecake. These competitions are won and lost on adventurous cooking. Oh. I think we have a problem yeah. here. Burnt flavour is in the cheesecake. You can taste it in the custard oven. Salty flames. I like the idea of the topping. I love the flavour. Very well done dish. Yeah. Are you sure that steak is coming off? Yeah, I'm sure. Maybe a little bit longer. Little That's bit my longer. instinct to just say. We're gonna bake the egg in the custard. Five minutes. Like seriously, five minutes. We are down to the last ten seconds on your composed plate of food. That's ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. This is the final of Ultimate Brown Master. Steak, egg and chips is not good enough for the final. It's all bland. Maybe these guys are starting to buckle. Salty flames. This is a little bit of invention. This process is five different elements. They are also under the same pressure. Yeah. Look at the steak, Pete. Medium ring. I like all the flavors. Everything is seasoned. Some invention, yeah. This is good, huh? Yeah. Making holidays outdoors and in this kind of heat. That's bold. Yeah. It's a great combination of flavors. Two things I'm missing from this dish. Seasoning and a squeeze of lemon okay. juice. Whole teams, 15 minutes to go on your lamb spit and I'd like you to gather around, please. I must admit, you're all looking a little bit worse for wear and I'd like to congratulate you on getting through to the halfway mark on today's challenge. Are you ready for your next set of challenges? Okay. Yes, definitely. The lamb is your last challenge. You've got 15 minutes to make sure it's perfect. Well done. You almost died again. <laughs> At the moment, it's absolute relief that it, we are now over and done with. It was pretty intense in the glaring sun the whole day. There's been overwhelming moments of emotion that you just didn't know how to handle. Coming into this competition, we didn't have high expectations of getting far. We did mess up a bit, but I tried to keep my sister motivated, keep myself motivated. It was an emotional roller coaster. We are exhausted beyond belief. I am glad it's over and I am happy with what we produced for the fish. If we were to win today, I'd be completely over the moon. Thank you. It will mean the world. I'll be the happiest guy ever. Excited, whether it be first, second, or third. Can't wait to hear the results. Dry Masters, last challenge is now over. Woo! Yeah. The judges will be around in just a moment to carve off the cuts of meat that they're looking for. Well done, teams. Pretty gritty. Hello, judges. It was very calm today, huh? Long he was very good today. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Beautiful, no? <laughs> he took his time. He was actually the last one to put it on the fire. The injection of the garlic into the legs. You can actually taste that. All of this is soft, it's flavoursome, but this beautifully cooked lamb. Okay. Salty flames. Salty flames. Yeah. So how'd it go? I'm extremely proud of this. Tell us about the lamb. Yeah. Towards the end, just to get that crispiness, we put a bit of chutney. We're super happy with how it came out. Salty flames. You know, I was worried there when Chanel said fruit chutney. Yeah. When I taste that on the ribs, it actually works. Lovely and moist, very tasty. So far, two teams have done an excellent job with the lamb. Yeah. Mutton heads. Yes, yes. Hey guys. So, how'd that go, guys? It was intense. Yeah. <laughs> to say it the was least. Intense, yeah. We put some garlic cloves into the meat, lemon juice, red wine in there as well. Cool. Okay. Meaning your taste? Well done, guys. Thanks, cool. guys. The lamb is gorgeous, it's moist. All three of them perfectly cooked. It's been seven incredible weeks and over 7,000 kilometers across the most spectacular and beautiful locations in South Africa. And we've seen how all of these teams have grown and produced wonderful dishes for us. Now it has come down to this. And now we have to decide who the next ultimate Bry Master is. Is right, Benny? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good evening. 
Well guys, I'd just like to take my hat off to all the teams today. All three teams standing here right now deserve a place in the final. I'm not joking when we say that the team that ultimately takes the prize will have been pushed to their emotional, physical and culinary limits. You completely did that to us. Then when we started this morning, you came up with a harder. Then it became harder and harder afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the team that you were happiest to see go, Peter? <laughs> <laughs> if I had the gold doggy enough? <laughs> <laughs> In, in fairness, if it wasn't for Peter, I probably wouldn't have 35,000 rand of game vouchers yeah. or a okay, yeah. 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 Well, let me give you all some good news. We've just received word from Kamado Yan, and because of your outstanding performance today, each team will get a Kamado Yan for themselves. A premium ceramic grill and grind that's worth 25,000 Rand. Nick and Chanel, you now have two of them. So you can grill, smoke, fry, bake. You get the idea. Well done, guys. You earned it. It's nice to laugh around the fire, but I'm sure all three teams sitting here right now want to know who took first place, second place and third place. So let me remind you what you're fighting for. Third place team will take home only the memories that they've made on the road, plus 55,000 rands worth of vouchers from game. Second place team will take home 80,000 rands worth of vouchers from game. But it's the winning team that takes home the title and 400,000 rand in cash, 200,000 rands worth of vouchers from game, and a Suzuki Grand Vitara. Well, as you know, it's not my thoughts that count in the game, but the judges. We really thought long and hard about timings and how we could stick it to you today. We really did. And I have to say, we've had some of the best food of the entire competition. We're very proud to be part of the people that actually tasted all the dishes that you made. 95% of the food was out of this world. How you improved and the growth and the advice that you took from us is what brought you guys here. For me, three standout dishes, mutton heads, the rice challenge. I could have eaten an entire pot of my own at the bottom. It really was superb cooking. Then salty flames, a really, really great Point. We loved your fascination with spice and balance and a little bit of fruit. And those dumplings floating on top just took it over the edge. It was really, really good. Yeah, okay. My favorite pretty gritty was, was your lamb. It was fantastic. It was quite robust flavor. Lots of paprika and, and lots of black pepper. Enjoyed the, the muscle pot that uh, pretty gritty made. The muscles were cooked to perfection. The sauce was very light and creamy. Nick and Chanel, the salads. What I enjoyed the most was the three bean salad with that turmeric, your favorite spice. Um, and your, the balance in the flavor um, and the color, the, you gave it your own twist and, and that's what we like and that's what cooking is about. You know, you feel what is good at the time and you just throw in what you think is gonna make it perfect and perfect it was. And then mutton heads. We saw you struggling with, with the hardest and Everybody had theirs on the grill and Nick and Chanel in the foil. You guys were busy still cleaning and scaling and 10 minutes left and you put it on. And amazingly, it was the best that we've tasted on the day. <laughs> All right, the moment everyone's been waiting for. <laughs> the team that is placed third in this year's competition. Mutton heads. Nothing to be ashamed of. You rocked it from day one all the way through to the final. You're welcome around my fire at any time. Which leaves me with salty flames. Pretty gritty. Good luck, guys. As you know, only one team can take the title, a car and the cash. And the winner of the fifth season, the ultimate Bry Master. Salty flames. <laughs> So they were the best team of the day and congratulations to them. 
When I entered the show, I had told them I had baked before. I had never baked in my life. We're happy that they won. They pushed through. I honestly didn't expect it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think it has sunk in yet. I, this thing is probably going to sleep in between myself and Nick tonight. It's been an epic journey. Meeting everybody, making friends, making enemies. <laughs> <laughs> I was convinced that Granny wasn't going to take it. We have beautiful 55,000 Rand game out of here. Used it, yeah. 80,000 and buy some camping gear. And take, take the kids, the kids yeah. Through. And actually go, go a bit travel and yeah. show them South Africa. All the ups, all the downs, everything came to this moment and it was all worth it. I wouldn't change a thing. Nah. nah. Oh yeah. Got to see you, dude. Thank you very much. Five seasons of the ultimate prime master. Five winners taking home over five million rands worth of prizes in the world's toughest after kitchen. And if you think you've got what it takes, go to www.ultimateprimemaster.co.za and enter right now. It could be you.